Okay, might have gone a bit too far. What the hell? Oh, so that's what it is. This might actually be a bit of a problematic because I don't actually have Akamoto alive right now. She kind of died. <laughs> uh, I need to go fix that. Nope. Oh, is that? Hokokolis is dead. Clovery springs from carelessness. He is about 12. Try to not focus your attention on one single Pokemon of your party. You may have more fellows that you can rely on, don't you think? Honestly, maybe. Fluffy tail. So many items here. Where did that fluffy tail go? And I don't know the that checked Pokemon. Huh. I made to expand my bed collection. Again, well, we could have had Akabon alive. Especially this one. Ah. Uh, let's bet. Let's go for the. Don't call that set damage. Oh no! Wow. I need to figure out what I want my fourth uh, Pokemon to be. Let's see, I'll get my hand on the various bug. Uh, if I beat you first. Let's see, what's over here? A trainer. <laughs> oh, shit! Hello, Drogia. Drogion? I did not expect to see you here today. You are was a surprise, and in fact, I have an Ultra Ball with your name on it. Okay. You know, I understand. It doesn't fit your color scheme, but you know what it does? The Great Ball! Okay, yeah, I figured that wouldn't work. <laughs> Okay, let's get serious now. Ultra Ball! There we go. Now with you cut, increasing my collection. The other way. A tie up, baby, huh? Oh. Okay, so you're avoidable. But the other trainer might not actually be. And let's see what Pokemon we can get here. Oh, it's so adorable! Look at it! It's such a little Pokemon that's super heavy! Oh, I wonder. Bitch got off a double protect. Not that time! Okay. Well, that was a lot easier than expected. Steel Vok type. Any 
いたよな I can't sneak past her. Not yet. Now. Dragon Jam, if I remember, that's a consumable that increases dragon type. Oh no, I don't want to kill you with this. Please don't die. Okay. Oh no, it had a King's Rock. Not like I had three of those, or two of those. Poison touch. Well, I should best stop throwing the balls. Damn it! It looks like it's dead on the floor. You know, increasing your attacks are going to help you when you're freaking burning to death because... Not burning, but when you're poisoned. There we go. Add it to the Pokedex. Rock fairy type. Ah, come on! Oh, annoy back! Metal Claw! Ouch! Talk about destructive. Num Numel! Numel! It's a dead! Oh! The one thing that's actually super fa- Oh, shit. Um, okay. Yeah, no, okay. We're saving. And we're going to try to avoid any sort of fight. Four belt town. These just be a heal. Yeah, but no, help noticing. You dudes are different from those I'm used to. A girl like me must know every kind of rock type Pokemon, so. Uh, sure, I have a Geo, dude. There you go. Wait, it has an item! Oh shit, because they had just saved. But I kinda need to, because my... I don't think I ha got what it had back. Oh well. What's more important, honestly, is the fact that all my Pokemon are currently dead. I can buy revives, so I'm just gonna use one and then I'm gonna pull up more repels. I'm just gonna speed through here. Oh, come on! Why aren't the Pokemon I'm facing still like level 30s? Not level 30. Why are they still like level 20 or lower? Oh, it's a focus sash. I don't want to fight Grandma though. Don't mess with Grammy. Granny. Granny will mess you up. Oh, and of course I'm in town. 
Well, that was easy. Well, that's all for this time, guys. No, I'm kidding. Let's explore the new city. Or town. Oh, yeah, super repel to make up the one that I used back there. I know that's similar to you, but I'm just sorting collector of cans. If you have some rare cans with you, I'd love to have a look. W -w Wait, is that a star starter special? Are you really giving it to me? <laughs> in that case, I want your kind of souvenir. Idol of Fire. It's a famous Force Belt, uh, Fort Belt Idol of Fire. I honestly don't know what's so special about it. Huh. I have no idea. Hey, flame mob. When you kill a wild Pokemon, don't flee. Face it down instead. Besides XP points, some of them could drop their held item on the ground. You scary. I leave. Poggy Center. Okay, if there's one thing I have to say this game has done excellent, it's the Pokemon Centers! Seems that besides the Idol File and other civilizations, they worship the, an Idol of Grass and an Idol of Water. Well, I have Fire, but I don't have anything else. Well, I have one. A uh, Pepperquino started chasing me, and I, to defend myself, I threw a Fire Stone at it. I didn't know that cockiest head with that, it could have become a skull vial. Some yellow car is still alive. So we learned a new way and Max Repels! Don't get Super Repels, especially since in this game it's uh renewable, since you'll ask, hey, do you want to reapply it? Super pills are the most cost efficient. So you're paying uh, 200 bucks just for an extra 50 steps when you're only paying 150 from doubling from 100 to 200. So the fact that you're paying more than the price from a repel to a super repel for half the steps, not worth it. Not worth it at all. There are two kinds of people in this world, those with loaded guns and those who dig. This, you'll be digging. Dig? Dig's not bad. I want to cook a tasty rice with pepperquino seeds for my pal. I'll be like spice. I would hate you if you did that. To me, I'd hate spice. Move to it all. What if you Pokemon can learn the technique passed on by my husband's family? I first need to prove my worth on Mount Star. If I want my Eevee to become a mighty Scaleon, there is. I'm, I'm, good. I'm just gonna give Eevee this for no, absolute no reason. Yep. Why would I put that off for a reason? Nope. <laughs> The point was, I'm pretty sure that's a dragon type, which means I'm gonna have double dragon. But it's a dragon! Come on! It's a new evolution! Cardinal's palace is on the other side of the bridge, but a soldier is guarding the entrance. That could be slightly problematic. I'm to adventure to the mountains. Time to pass the torch. Thank you! Young people are the future. Fort Belt's people used to worship an idol of fire, believed to be the incarnation of the volcano itself. I wonder which Pokemon it was. Did I not heal? I did not heal. I need to get back to that Pokemon center before I do anything else. I know, so Scaleon is most likely Dragon type, which. Kinda sad. Uh, 
Yeah, according to the Wikipedia. It looks cool. But the problem is I don't need a dragon type. If you chose some of the other Pokemon and you want a dragon type, hey, there's a new evolution for you to mess with. I think my mom really needs a pet as a companion. I'll go to Val- Does let it heal? Kids these days are nothing but layabouts. Back in my time, they had to face in real time on the volcano. Daddy really is a sick rapper. I swear someday I'll go to him in Hyperion City. Yeah, yeah! Dragon type Pokemon are most fearsome. But they blindly follow Cardinal's orders. Astarbus is a treacherous dungeon crawling with ferocious wild Pokemon. Take a supply of medicine and repels before venturing in. Don't inform me of your arrival, trainer. Anyway, I'm sorry to say that the Cardinal is on top of Mont Starbus. Extraordinary, the Queen granted me the honor to give the permission to reach him. On one condition. You must first beat me in battle, and then, and only then, will you be allowed to reach the Cardinal. So, do you agree to these terms? This is why I healed. Warned you, it won't be easy. Easy is my middle name. Let's do this. You poor mother hacker! Heavy, steel, and rock! Oh, low kick field day! That did not do as much damage as I thought. Huh. Low kick field day! Is it rock or ground? I don't remember. What? I'm the best city! <laughs> You're the best soldier in Ishtar City's army? My god, the army's weak! Wait, what? No, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't want an Umbreon. Queen was right about you. As we are quartered, now you can go to the top of Mount Starburst and reach Cardinal Abraham. Oh boy. Well, back down we go, I guess. I guess we can face Granny on the way. And wow, I did not know my relationship was that high. If I knew it was that high, I would not have given that one to Eevee. And then I'm gonna wait to train Eevee. <laughs> Oh boy. I did he fight a Pokemon with false swipe. Oh, she wasn't gonna fight me. Okay. I know if there's a Mawile in this game, I'd have to find Mawile. Let's just to say certain individuals are destined to challenge the volcano alongside certain Pokemon. Luckily, you bear one of those. What? Axe! What? What are you doing here? Look who's here! Hisashi! What are you doing in here in all places? I need to see the Cardinal. Are you looking for Cardinal Abraham? If I'm not mistaken, he usually chains at the top of this mountain. What am I doing, you say? Well, once I have closed, the scientist answers. The uh, Mount Starburst is crawling with strong and aggressive fire-type Pokemon. However, it seems that tor Tornado are anything but violent. Actually, they should have to help trainers who attend to cross the volcano. You see, to reach the top, it's necessary to cross over several pool lava pools. That's where tor Tornado comes in. Hop on the shells to go beyond the level lava full areas and continue your climb. Oh, for the record, once you set foot on Mount Starburst, there's no way to escape. Either using escape ropes or other items. Be careful. It's nice to see you again. Bye bye. Well, only one thing I have to say to this. Full of mighty fire type Pokemon. If somehow we get something that's high level, Mizuchi will obliterate. <sighs> it's supposed to get here. It's a Charmeleon! And it's dead. Ah, 
both even won! Oh, I actually did survive, though. Fucking was more doable than I thought. Ah, I got the bone off. I don't have to heal that. That bone can actually be a bit problematic. This bell is a terrible idea. Hey, you got a bone off, so hey, that's good. Yeah, I'll just use the belly. Oh, Max survive. What are you doing? Dragon type. You're fishing in lava! Oh, dear, I'm not even sure if this works! You know what? If this works, I will eat something of mine. Yep, yeah, it doesn't work. Why the hell are you fishing here? Okay, so you quickly jump on and off. Quick, I'll extinguish these flames! Okay, Timothy? What the hell's that type? Uh, it's weak to water, whatever it is. It's a nose blip. Ow, oh, Rockies! <sighs> hey, that's a crit. I could have used that last time. Oh, how foolish of me. We are in a volcano. Yes, we are. And in volcanoes, there's fire. I'm not dormant like this volcano. I never sleep. Do you need some... Do you need some breaks? Do you need to go in... Oh, fire spin might actually be a bit problematic, but if I can kill, uh... Nine tails fast, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Oh, fire spin. And there we go! Maybe I should rest too. Take a nap. Pushing yourself forward so much it'll not help you. Trust me, I know. I stay up all night to work these on these videos. No, not really. Flame charge. And a nice though. Another repel. Oh, they look content to leave me alone, so I'll leave them alone. You will not keep me away from one of the servers down there. Hail is hailing. Oh, you protect. That means the hail, though. over here. An iron ball, that makes a Pokemon heavier. Probably a special electric type. Well, I'm not an electric type, so I can't go in there. But I can travel through here. My fighting sphere is floating inside of me, like this volcano. Fighter! 
It's a Kung Fu again. With Zuchi, this might actually be a bit difficult. Oh no! Anyway. Nope. I was hoping we could get the uh, stun off. Dragon Breath, because I'm actually running a bit low on Bubble Beam. And with that, we win. You must have from hot, blooded behavior. Okay, there's chocolate here. Ooh, chocolate. I think I'm actually gonna put that on Akabon. That will make uh, low kick deal a bit less damage, but it'll make his uh, I'm sorry, ha. Huh? Well, I mean, we're dealing with a lot of fire type Pokemon here right now. Fire Blast. That actually is a very good call. What the hell? Oh, a special fire type Pokemon can melt that ice. Well, I don't have a special anything, so... Break it! And fight. Oh no, no fight. I'm just gonna take a guess. The fact that there is a Poygo... No. Am I supposed to beach? Okay. Okay. Guess we'll just follow the mandatory pathway. You. You have a Skeleon too. Leave. I'm meditating. I told you to leave! Me and my Skeleon are in the midst of our training! In the fall, you said. You must be quite tough if you manage to make it here only to live with me this water. I reckon it was hard. Let me give you and your Pokemon some. It'll give your strength back. But I'm good. Bless me. I didn't introduce myself. My name is Abraham. Amongst the four Cardinals of Eldwy, I am the one who protects the ground you're walking on. Mount Starburst is a heat heartbeat of our region. Without a proper balance, it risks destroying its own ecosystem. I'm here to ward it off, and at the same time, I took the opportunity to forge my spirit. Did you see that, Glaceon? Skeleon. Someone came here for a visit. Scare. But tell me, my young friend, do you want to li listen to the old legends? You see, I know them all inside out. Whoever believes I'm more than 500 years old is not that far from the truth. <laughs> but if my guest serves, that not what you're here for. Am I right? You know, you remind me of a person. Of course, you must be Vussel's child. You are two of a kind. Your father was a great man and a real asset to our region. The terrible news of his disappearance was quite a shock for all of us. Oh, forgive my rude demeanor. What did you say your name was? Hisashi. Hisashi. I assume you came here seeking answers, don't you, child? Well then, I will tell you everything I know about it. But stay strong, because this story doesn't end well. You should know that your father has always been fascinated with science and its progress. That's why he decided, along with his best friend Victor, to set up a laboratory in Hadworth City. For the purpose of making it the biggest one in the region. Victor wasn't a skillful trainer, but to make up for it, he was a first class mind. In other words, he was the perfect partner for your father. Step by step, the lab staff enriched with new co-workers and became well known all over Eldry. Among them was the renowned Aster, a kid about your age back then. He was considered an excellent and particularly bright assistant. In short, your father was doing his dream job, along with his friends and with a splendid family. But then, the unthinkable. What you're wearing in your ear is the Earth Core, isn't it? Therefore, I shall say you are aware of the recent attacks by X Pokemon. They have become more commonplace nowadays, but the discovery is not a recent thing. 
Your father and Victor discovered them. Creatures from a mysterious universe. The human mind could go, could finally go further. Russell believed that these species, species men had to be bred as normal Pokemon. But Victor had completely opposite ideals. Since then, their paths diverged, and the passion of burning in the laboratory went down, round down. Invested in his ideals, Victor resigned and promised he would have found a solution to the problem. With the funds acquired in his studies, he set up his personal organization, with the sole purpose of stealing the ex Pokemon forever. Team Dimension, maybe? You might have guessed, Victor is the brains behind Team Dimension. Called it! Kid, it's very probable that he was the one who made your father Russell disappear. So that he could have no opponents. That bastard. But unfortunately for him, his love had been inherited by the next generation led by Astor. Trust me, Team Dimension couldn't have made a worse enemy. Now I ask you to come with me, Asashi. Got to show you something. Here, kid, follow me. Guessing we're heading up then. I think it was connected to the team that I mentioned, but I didn't think it would be like that. We're heading for the Zenith Cave, one of the four Xeno gates of the region. The access is permitted only to those who achieve Lux Flog's blessing. But let's not argue semantics. I'll explain everything later. The plan of Team Dimension is merely the first domino. The whole planet is in extreme danger. But before we comprehend these words of mine, it's necessary for you to learn this ancient legend. Billions of years ago, the universe was ruled by a majestic and powerful Pokemon, Vacuum. Its size was comparable to a planet, its body burning like a star. Just like every creature, Vacuum was torn deep down by diametrically opposing intentions. The light symbolizes the peace and evolution, and the darkness, fear of terror and uh, annihilation. Despite its tremendous power, the primal creature will still subject to the error of time. Therefore, doomed to age and become weaker and weaker. Meanwhile, the dark energy within the creature, willing to leave that dying shell, started rebelling with the purpose of establishing its own separate identity. And thus, the darkness bursted out of its prison, causing the death of the Pokemon itself. A large-scale deflagration was triggered and unleashed life throughout our universe. Galaxies, stars, and planets were generated. The Earth formed ruled half by the light being, Luxflon, who incarnated uh, following the explosion, and half by the Dark Lord, Jagalisk. To maintain the balance between them, there were three elemental guardians past parts of Vacuum 2. The starter Pokemon, Shalion, Chishout, and Shulong. So called, because they were forerunners of life. But Jagalisk wasn't convinced that life wasn't necessary, and banished them from his territory. Therefore, they found refuge in Luxflon's domain. Thanks to them, the hemispheres under the rule of the light being grew pro prosperous and florid. On the one hand, the one under the Dark Lords rotted and remained at a primal and hospital stage. Whereupon the latter, envious of his brother's work, decided to make a move. It wanted to steal some of the energy Luxflon used to make Earth flourish so rapidly. Thanks to the intervention of both Luxflon and the starter Pokemon, the attack turned into a defeat. However, Dragalisk was able to take over a tiny amount of energy it used to create soldiers under its will, the X Pokemon. Along with his new army, the Dark One attempted another stampede, and it failed again. Then, according to legend, the Light Being, horrified by this greed for power, broke into the energy reserves to turn away definitely its evil twin. In doing so, Dragalus was confined in another dimension, the Xenoverse. Under the domain of light, the Earth attained its fullest development. However, the Dark Lord never got over the defeat, and tried several more times over the millennia. To wreak havoc on its original planet, by tearing fault lines in space-time. But if Team Dimension were to break into the Xenoverse, darkness would follow our lives. 
the rifts already located all over the region will give Jagalus his chance of revenge. We can finally be able to take over everything that Luxflon has developed until now. But there is a way to avert this threat. The solid Pokemon are the harmony that keeps this world alive. You, Hasashi, bear one of them. Your expected one whose duty is to prevent its destruction. The region. No. Earth needs you. You are still missing something to do this, though. I took you here to ensure you obtain a power that goes far beyond the one you currently possess. I'm talking about the Xenoversal Evolution. Thanks to that, you will be able to unlock the full potential of your Pokemon. In order to be given this power, however, you have to cross the limits of man. Hisashi, you see that enormous cascade there? That's not water flowing. It's terrestrial energy. It's Luxflon itself trying to patch the rifts between this world and the other. Only those who possess the Earth Core can therefore walk through the Xeno Gate behind it. But to do that, you must be filled with a certain amount of grudge. That's why I don't want you going to face in there, or even give you any help. But that's why I don't know what you're going to face in there, or give you any help. Remember though, without good, there is no evil, and vice versa. This is the key to harness blue energy. Enough with the lollygagging now, it's time to act. Come what may, always trust your ability and your Pokemons. Delve in there and come back victorious with an incredibly new power. O oh, light being, to you is my prayer. Grant your apostle the chance to face this child. Now go, Hisashi. Weird energy spreads through the cascade. The inner gate sucks you towards it. Well, this is it, guys. Welcome to the Xenoverse. Who knows what we're going to find here, but... I guess this is a good place to explore for next time. <laughs> That's all for this time. This is me the Joke Gamer. I hope you enjoyed the series so far, and I'll see all you guys again next time. See you guys then.